Welcome everyone. So today I am going to show you a method with which you will be able to find squares of any number literally in seconds. Okay, such this is like amazing. It's literally under five seconds I can do this. Okay, but over here there are two methods. One method which is specific to numbers closer to closer to hundred and other method which is very very specific or rather which is applicable universally okay it is applicable universally for all two digit numbers okay so first let's talk about the numbers which are closer to 100 so like in this case over here what you do over here is see you had 96 the whole square okay so now first you need to check how far is this from 100? It is 4 digits away from 100. So, your answer gets divided into two parts, okay? The first answer is 4 square, that is 16. And then what you do is 96, you subtract 96 from, sorry, 4 from 96, you get the answer as 92. See, you saw, in while explaining also, I did not take more than 10 seconds. It is so easy. Now, if you want to check for other numbers, let's try 93 square. Okay, so 93 square, again, we know it is what, 7 digits ahead or rather away from 10, 100. So, first, second part would be what, just 7 square, that is 49. And then subtract 7 from 93, that gets you what, 86. The square for 93 square is nothing but 86, 4, 9. Okay, now let's try for one more. Let's try 98 square. So, we know it is two digits ahead or rather away from 100. So, now please understand while writing the square of 2, don't just write 4. It will be always written in two digit form. So, it should be 0, 4. Okay. It cannot be written 4, 0 because then it becomes 40. So, that is not something which we are wanting. We want 4. So, we will write 0, 4 because we want it in two digit form. And then you just subtract 2 from 98. So, you get the answer as 96. Okay. Now, let's try for one more. We have... Let's do 89 square. So now again, 89 square is what? 89 square is 11 digits away from 100. So here also, first we will do 11 square. The answer is 121. But like I said, we are going to write only and only the two digits of your answer, the last two digits of your answer. Okay, so 121, the one will be taken out. Okay, and then you subtract 11 from 89. That gets you what? 78. And then you add 78. We had 78. You add 78 with this 1. So, answer comes out to be 7921. Okay. I hope you are getting how easily you could do this. Now, coming to the part where you can literally do this orally as well. Okay, but before going ahead, I want to show you one very, very easy trick of squares with numbers which are ending in 5. This is also very very easy. Again the numbers, last two numbers of your answer for square of any number which is ending in 2 digits. Ending in 5, you are, last two digits will be 25, 5, square of 5. And then next you multiply 2 with the next number which comes in the number system. Two, the number which comes after 2 is 3. So 2 into 3 gets you 6. So 25 square is 625. Let's try for 45 square that gets you again 4 gets multiplied to the next number which is 5 so 4 into 5 gets you 20 and then the last two digits are what yes the last two digits are just 25 so you saw how easily you could do this right now coming to the part where i said that we are going to do or we are going to find the squares of any number but in with the universal method okay okay let me try uh, let me try some other number first. Let's try 46 square. Okay. So, first thing what you do have to do is just write square of 6. Square of 6 is what? 36. Then you multiply all the three numbers given over here. So, 4 into 2 is 4 into 6 is 24 into 2 is 48. So, you will write 48. And then you just write square of 4, which is 16. Okay, but you are understanding how am I writing and then you just add. How am I writing this? You are, While writing, you are just leaving one digit of the previous operation and then writing the next answer. 
like in 36 i after that we got 48 so i wrote 8 below 3 and not below 6 okay only then you will get the right answer so here when you add this this becomes 6 11 1 carry 11 1 carry 2 1 1 6 okay so this is how you should be doing these kind of calculations very quickly i'll show you a couple of more let's try let's try this for 78 square so again first we'll write 8 square which is 64 then we'll multiply all the three digits which is what 7 into 8 is what 56 into 2 gets you 112 so 112 okay and then you will write just 49 or uh, 7 square which is 49 so while writing 49 you will just write you will just skip the 2 you will not write 9 below 2 but you will write 9 after the digit which is happening after 2 so then you just add all of them you get 4 8 10 1 carry 6 okay so i hope you are getting how to do these kind of questions now let's try one more let's see if we are find, trying to find 23 square so 23 square again you will write that answer it is just 9 i understand but you will write it in two two digit form so it will be 0 9 then 2 into 3 into 2 that gets you what 12 and then you just take 2 square which is 4 so answer comes out to be 9 2 so, sorry the answer for this one comes out to be 9 2 and 5 1 plus 4 is 5 so you saw how easily you could do all of this okay now let's go back and see if we can do this for these big numbers as well so 93 square so first we'll write 3 square which is 0 9 then we will do 9 into 3 into 2 that gets you what 54 and then just do 9 square which is 81 now just add them so we have 9 4 6 and 8 that is the answer correct so you saw you can actually do this for both the methods so if if you are finding like you know to remember these different methods it's very difficult to remember like what are the conditions for each of these methods then just stick to this one it is universal right so now let's try for 89 over here so 89 square is what 81 9 square is 81 8 into 9 into 2 so that gets you what 8 into 9 is 72 into 2 gets you 1 4 4 okay and then you have uh, 8 square which is 64 so add them we have 1 2 1 carry 9 and 7 so you got the same answer so i hope you're understanding how easily you could do all of this now if you want to check for the numbers ending in 5 let's try for this one so first we will do 5 square which is 25 then multiply 4 into 5 into 2 that gets you what 40 and then do 4 square which is 16 so then you just have to do 5 2 0 1 and 2 so you got the answer as 2 0 2 5 okay so i hope this is very very clear to everyone that's it for today i will see you in the next video